Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to extend a web application so you can share some content with people mainly outside your organization. So the goal we are trying to achieve when we extend a web application is to share the same content using a different authentication method. So one of the most common examples will be to share some company content uh, with your business partners. So the first thing we need to have is we need to have a web application. So I'm going to navigate to manage web applications and you can see I have uh, different web applications. We are going to choose the portal and if I go to authentication providers, you can see I only have the default in here. Okay, so when we are in here, we just going to highlight the portal and in the ribbon, you can see we have extend. So we're going to click on this and we are going to extend the web application. Um, we are going to create a new IAS website. I'm just going to call that uh, extranet. And for the port, we are going to put that on port 80. And because you can see here, I have uh, multiple web applications on the port 80, we need to add a host header. So just something simple, portal extranet, and uh, you add the domain, uh, the full qualified domain as well. Um, if I click on this and go until the end, you can see the, the path has changed and scrolling there, we are going to allow anonymous. So choose yes. You can leave the rest as the default. You scroll back um, scroll down, sorry. And here uh, we are going to choose a zone. So you normally have five zones, uh, but the default is already taken, uh, of course. So we are just going to choose the extra net. Now you can choose whatever you want. Doesn't matter because this is not going to trigger anything. Okay, it's just for your reference. So extranet and then click on OK. So after a few seconds, uh, the web application should be extended. OK, it's going to be extended soon. Still turning up here. And now it is done. OK, so just highlight the portal and we are going to authentication providers. And you can see that now we have the default and we have the extranet. OK. Uh, now we are going to check on the um, alternate access mapping if we have the URL. So just click on uh, system settings, configure alternate access mapping. And here you can see we have uh, the portal because I am only on the portal in here. So we have the extranet. Okay, that's perfect. So now in order for this uh, website address to work, uh, we need to add the DNS. So I'm going to switch over to my DNS server and I'm going to open the DNS. And here we are going to add a new uh, A record. So just right click on the white uh, part in here and you add the, the A record. And we are just going to enter uh, the uh, portal extranet and we are going to put the IP address of the SharePoint server in here so click add host everything went uh, perfect just click OK and then click done uh, now you, what you can do in here is you can uh, either restart the server or you can simply flush the DNS so I'm gonna do that now uh, click on start um, open a command prompt. You can do that with PowerShell as well. It, it works with PowerShell and right click and run administrator up and then ipconfig space forward slash uh, flush DNS and click enter. So now it is done. We can close this and switch back to the SharePoint server. Now I'm just going to show you uh, the site collection that I have under the portal. So view all site collections under site collection. And in the portal, 
the, the real portal, not the extranet yet. Okay, we have uh, this site collection. So that's the URL we are going to navigate uh, with the extranet. Okay, otherwise we're not going to be able to um, access the portal extranet. So I'm just going to open new tab and we are going to uh, navigate to see if it's working. So we said portal uh, extranet and uh, fully qualified domain. And then what we've seen, so sites and portal. So it should be taken just a minute. It is working on it. Uh, should be coming in in a minute. Okay, so here we are and you can see that we are on the portal that um, dash extranet, so that's fine. I am logged in here uh, at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to see if this is shared uh, for uh, anonymous access. So click on the gear icon, you go to site settings and you go to site permissions. And you can see in here that this site uh, is shared with um, anonymous people. So it doesn't matter if I'm logged in in here because people will have access as well. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to switch over to a client machine. Okay, so here I'm logged at Mark, like Mark. Okay, and um, what we're going to do is we are going to navigate to uh, the portal extranet extranet uh, exams.com um, sites uh, portal and let's see yeah you can see that we have exactly the same content so that is the portal you can see here portal dot the domain and here is the same content with portal uh, dash extranet and the difference you can see that here um, I am logged as Mark and here on the extranet, which is um, anonymous, you can see that I, I have the content and I'm still not logged uh, at all. It's really anonymous. Okay. Um, so I think that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll talk to you uh, in another video. Bye bye.